This is a renovated industrial building that sat empty for many years. When we first encountered this building, it was really buried and hidden. There were weed trees, there was graffiti, there was plywood, there was you know, abandoned trash all over the property. It was very difficult. We, we brought potential partners and donors in, and some of them wouldn't even get out of their car. When they were describing what they thought could happen, it's like I could go along and dream with them about what this building was going to become and what um, it was going to mean for the rest, for the city and for the neighborhood. And it's now the headquarters for Waterfire Providence, which is a large city-scale artwork, and we needed a place to work. In 1929, this building was built to handle the increased production of raw rubber coming up from South America and the West Indies, and um, all the raw rubber for many, many jobs and manufacturing processes here. I think Rhode Island, because of its history with the Industrial Revolution, there are a lot of mills, and as we become a worldwide economy, a lot of those mills have become vacant and abandoned. Most of the uh, employment options used to be in the mills. Right now, it, we have one of the poorest neighborhoods in the city. And the challenge that we have is to make sure that we have job opportunities for people right in the neighborhood. In Rhode Island, we have a housing shortage, but we also have a need for commercial and for community space. And so the mills that are scattered or sprinkled throughout the state really provide an opportunity to meet those needs. So this was a building where we could be imaginative about the possibilities that the space might have, but also create a place that had such flexibility that we can program all sorts of things here. We have art exhibitions for musical events, for dance events. We have classes in here. They're learning computer programming so you can have a higher salary in your job. The Waterfire has a pretty robust internship program and uh, we have very detailed uh, job descriptions and uh, internship programs that might be in development might be in administration or management, might be in uh, event uh, planning. So there's, there's lots of opportunities for young people to learn about uh, uh, how to bring art and vibrancy into the community. This opportunity at Waterfire is special because it's something in my field. Um, it's working, getting real life experience in an office, in a design firm, and working closely with the instructor, like doing media stuff, photography, video, design, layouts, all that stuff. This provides an example for other communities to look at when they're trying to envision what their mill spaces can and should be. I think Waterfire is a cut above because they recognized the community asset that this facility would become. Again, coming in on a Saturday, this place is hopping. There are classes being taught, classrooms are full with people. They're bringing people into the community. Today, you're going to be doing this so the Career Devs Computer Science Academy launched the same exact day that the Water Fire Arts Center opened to the general public. We were the first partner organization here with Water Fire. We've seen the demand increase exponentially, both on the people who want to become software developers and also on the companies that want to employ them. So in this year, we launched an official academy where we're bringing in people from all kinds of backgrounds and walks of life. For our nine-month program, when they graduate, they're getting jobs that now pay eighty to $90,000 a year. I think the mills that scatter the landscape in this country are amazing. But in Rhode Island, I think it's really, really special because it became the hub of innovation, industrial innovation for the entire planet. So it's, it has a special meaning here in Rhode Island. And to be operating in one today in partnership with Waterfire it's really not just being able to read about history, but to really be able to live it, because we still hear the echoes of what those men and women were doing in the centuries past. And now to be here and be a part of the resurgent innovative process is something truly, truly special.